how can my voice, your, you wives of Lemech, give ear to my speech? You see that there is a parallelism here, he repeats everything twice. For a man have I slain for my wound, a boy for my bruising. For sevenfold Cain is avenged, and Lemech, seventy-seven. So here stands this hero and says, whoever touches me, I kill him. If it's a child, if it's a grown-up person. For I have slain a child for doing, for wounding me, and I have slain a person for what? For uh, bruising. bruising me. Bruising. Which means uh, I'm strong, and I believe in violence, and nobody on earth dares to touch me. And you should be proud of your husband. So, my great teacher, Kasuto, when I was a young student at the Hebrew University, said, what do we need the, the song of Lemech in the Torah? Well, it's such an ugly song. And he had this right insight. You tell me that uh, we have to go home? Yeah. No. <laughs> I thought you'd bring me a warning. No. Uh, someone named Helena Kashtan is here. Helena Kashtan. Helena Kashtan. Yes. Uh, your, co where, your car is blocking something. The police called your daughter. Please go down to your car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what did Kasuto say? Lemech is an embodiment of the generation of the flood. He's the seventh of the descendants of Cain, and he sings the song of violence. He does not regret that his forefather murdered. He thinks that there is enough space for other murderers on earth, and he makes a hymn for murderous revenge. Wonderful explanation. So you see that on one side, the descendants of Cain bring blessing to, uh, to humanity, but the, the ugliness of Cain's murderous uh, intention, uh, how do you say, violence, continues in them. See how complex the story is? And Adam, now we end, and Adam again knew his wife, and she bore a son and called his name Shet, as to say, God has granted me other seed in place of Hevel, for Cain has killed him. As for Shet, and we are all the descendants of Shet, to him too a son was born, and he called his name Enosh, and it was then that the name of the Lord was first invoked. Now, this we call inclusion. The story starts with Adam knowing his wife and giving birth, and she gives birth to the firstborn. And after a long, long story, the story ends with a new intercourse, a new pregnancy, and a new son. But we are called by the Torah to compare the two reactions of our first mother. The first reaction was a high to fertility, in which she is a companion of God. And the second, uh, how do you say, exclamation, the second saying of her is very modest, and she says, thank you, God, but after that one son of mine has murdered the other, you give me another chance and you, I'm still able to give birth to a child and I call them a substitute, Shet, being a substitute for Hevel, the murdered one. So Cain killed not only his brother, he killed the high spirits, if you may say so in English, of his mother. Shalom, the little.